In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Kings. When Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, learned that her son was dead, she promptly did away with all those of royal stock. But Jehoshaphat, daughter of King Jehoram and sister of Ahaziah, secretly took away Jehoash, her brother's son, from among the sons of the king who were being murdered, and put him with his nurse in the sleeping quarters. In this way, she hid him from Athaliah, and he was not put to death. He stayed with her for six years, hidden in the temple of the Lord, while Athaliah governed the country. In the seventh year, Jehoiada sent for the commanders of hundreds of the Carians and of the guards, and had them brought to him in the temple of the Lord. He made a pact with them, and, putting them under oath, showed them the king's son. The commanders of hundreds did everything as Jehoiada the priest had ordered. They brought their men, those coming off duty on the Sabbath, together with those mounting guard on the Sabbath, and came to Jehoiada the priest. The priest equipped the commanders of hundreds with King David's spears and shields, which were in the temple of the Lord. The guards formed up, each man with his weapon in his hand, from the south corner to the north corner of the temple, surrounding the altar and the temple. Then Jehoiada brought out the king's son, put the crown and armlets on him, and he anointed him king. They clapped their hands and shouted, Long live the king! Athaliah, on hearing the shouts of the people, made for the temple of the Lord, where the people were. When she saw the king standing there beside the pillar, as the custom was, with the captains and trumpeters at the king's side, and all the country people rejoicing in sounding trumpets, Athaliah tore her garments and shouted, Treason! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest gave the order to the army officers, Take her outside the precincts, and put to death anyone who follows her. For, the priest had reasoned, she must not be put to death in the temple of the Lord. They seized her, and when she had reached the palace through the entry of the horses, she was put to death there. Jehoiada made a covenant between the Lord and king and people, by which the latter undertook to be the people of the Lord and also between king and people. All the country people then went to the temple of Baal and demolished it. They smashed his altars and his images and killed Matan, priest of Baal, in front of the altars. The priest posted sentries to guard the temple of the Lord. All the country people were delighted, and the city made no move and they put Athaliah to death in the royal palace. The Word of the Lord The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. The Lord swore an oath to David. 
he will not go back on this word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. If they keep my covenant in truth, and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame. But on him my crown shall shine. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not store up treasures for yourselves on earth, where moth and woodworms destroy them, and thieves can break in and steal. But store up treasures for yourselves in heaven where neither moth nor woodworms destroy them, and thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. It follows that if your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be all darkness. If then, the light inside you is darkness. What darkness that will be. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus said, Do not store up treasures. Moth and woodworms corrode. Thieves can break in and steal. Nothing merely human will ever satisfy you. Saint Augustine was one of the most brilliant mind in history. He had a surplus of talent. He searches for happiness everywhere, in friends, in position, in carnal pleasures, in intellectual pursuits, all eventually disappointed him. It took him many years, but at last, he faced the truth. He wrote, 
O rich man, if you do not have God, what have you? O poor man, if you have God, what more do you need? St. Augustine spoke from the deepest soul of his experience when he said, The human heart remains restless, Lord, until it rests in you. Nothing else is big enough. Nothing in this world can ever completely satisfy us. We keep thinking, if I could have this one thing yet, I'd be happy. But the wishes are never finished, nor should they ever be. All things in this world are not enough to make everyone perfectly happy. Experience bear this out. Observe it in yourself and in others. Time spent cultivating good habits of the heart, leaving our call and God's commandments is time spent storing up treasure in heaven. Today's Gospel, if your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. If we can practice this each day, we can surely get our heart into the kind of shape that God longs for. God bless you. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. At this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you. So may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day and take care.